Shall we begin? Let's begin. Hey YouTube, 7.5 Ounce here. We're doing it old school today. 2002-2003 Be A Player memorabilia. Um, one of the things about this is you get one collectible Stanley Cup per box, which is a little gimmicky to me, but uh, that's kind of alright. You know, I know Upper Deck did one with a uh, mask collection where you get a little hockey mask around this time, you know, around this era, early 2000s, something like that. That's all the different things you can get, and one of the ways this works is you get one memorabilia card per box, which doesn't sound like a lot in today's terms, but back then a lot of these were short printed. So one of the things that that happens with these boxes is you can really get a scrub that you couldn't give away for 99 cents, or you can get something decent still. I believe that the market generally undervalues these cards tremendously. You know, if you if you think one per box is all you get and short printed on some of the superstars. And if this was Jordan or basketball, people would go nuts for this stuff. But anyway, let's see what we got. Just love doing these old school be a player breaks. Don't do them too often, but every once in a while, I like doing them. So, okay. Our Stanley Cup is... Oh yeah, Marty Brodeur. I will take that. I definitely collect Brodeur. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. Thank you, be a player. Okay. So inside, you have your box. And the rest is that. Okay. Let's do this. I was not expecting a Brodeur on that Stanley Cup. And I believe there's like parallels here as well. I forget what they're called. Blue and red. Maybe some stuff here. I'm not sure what it's called. If I miss them, I will post them at the end of the break. They're kind of... Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of this older stuff sticks together like crazy. I don't know if I'm going to... see. There's the redemption there. Which is clearly expired. Wow, this is going to be a really difficult break. If this is all going to go like that. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, Patrick Laleem who was red hot when he started his career. He won like 16 games right out of the gate. 16-0 when he started, I believe. And that's 29 of 100. You don't really hear about him nowadays. So, but that's, I'm happy to have that. Decent start so far, in my opinion. Yeah, man, oh man. Okay, those are the, he shoots, he scores, redemption points, which no longer are valid. Bear with me, these sticking together like this. Big deal, Jason Arnott. And Bill Guerin. Some of those have, I think, are numbered. Marty Brodeur, franchise players. I think the good thing is, there's Hashik. The good thing is, they are sticking together, but they're not, when you pull them apart, they're not tearing off the gloss. Sometimes that happens. Big deal of Alexander Mogilny and Mike Pekka.
a rookie of Carlo Colocovo. Speed this up. It's hard. This card's sticking together. Okay, red parallel here. Dennis Arkhipov. Dennis Arkhipov, 54 200. And franchise players there Scott Hartnell. Wow. If I miss anything, like I said, I'll post it. I'm not going to spend all day doing that. Big deal. Jeremy Roenick. Lexi Zamnov. Another big deal here. Valerie Bure. And Bob Niedermeyer, Rob Niedermeyer, not Bob Niedermeyer. Rookie Tom Koivitsu. Franchise player Marcus Nasland. Dan Blackburn. He got injured. Was pretty good at the time and ended his career five years later. Rob Blake, Adam Deadmarsh, big deal. Ooh, cool. Curtis Joseph, uh, red parallel. One thirty nine and two hundred with Detroit. Here's a big deal of Darius Casparis and two Darius Casparises. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit this video down. There's no point in, in taking forever to do this. Yarmy Yager, franchise players. So from now on, I'll just post the good stuff. Edit the rest. I hate editing like that. I like doing it clean, but it's ridiculous. Okay, we got our hit. That's our memorabilia. And last pack before we get to our hit. Rookie there, Ivan Majeski.
All right, so our hit. Well, before that, Roman Turk, Fred Brathwaite. Roman Turk did go to the Blues later on. Our hit is a generic all-star jersey of Joe Thornton. That sucks, actually, because uh, I've done a couple of these boxes, and I usually get this kind of card, all-star jersey. But anyway, that's the risky take, and other than it sticking together, I did get the Brodeur Stanley Cup, so I'd say that's worth it right there. Thanks, guys.